Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, we will see how we can install a free plugin and create post slider on the Elementor website. And this will be a fully customizable post slider. So you will be able to use different types of layouts. You can change the background color. You can change the style settings of the post slider. So you may want to show the post slider on the blog page or on the home page of your website and Elementor plugin or the Elementor Pro plugin does not have the post slider options. Here you can use this free plugin and create a post slider on the Elementor website. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are using Elementor on this website. Now we are going to install a free plugin that will give you an option to create post slider on the Elementor website. So let's go to the dashboard and then go to plugins and click on add new. So here search for Elementor post slider. Now here you will see many different free sliders that you can use. I have tried this one. However, it has some limitations to use the post slider. It will give you only two column post slider. This one has the post slider but it is a part of pro plugin not the free one this one does not have post slider in the free one so let's go to this one here you will see the plugin called as ht mega and you will also see elementor add-ons post grid post slider i have tried installing some free plugins and i liked this one so i'm going to install this one click on install now click on activate all right so the plugin has been installed now let's go to the demo page. On this page, we are going to install the post slider. Let me refresh it. So we are using Elementor to edit this page. So here search for post slider, or you can simply type in post and you will see this first option post carousal. And here you will see the icon HT that is the plugin that we have installed. Click on it, drag it and drop it here. So this is the default layout of the post carousal or the post slider. Now here you will see layouts. This is the lay layout one. Let's change it to layout two. And this is how the layout two will look. Layout three, four, five. So I think layout 2 looks good. So I'm going to use layout 2. Now let's see post options. So here, from here you can change the post content source. So it will take the post or it will take products. So I'm going to select post. If you want to show the blog post from specific categories, you can select the categories here. So I'm going to keep it as it is. I'm going to show all the category post. Limit how many posts do you want to show in the slider. So I'm going to use, let's say six. Custom order, if you want to change the order, you can change the order. I'm going to leave it as it is descending. Now here you will see category. This is the category. If you do not want to show, you can simply uncheck it. Date. So this is the date. I'm going to disable the date. The title will be shown here. Title length, it shows five words. Let me change it to let's say nine words. So it will show first nine words of the title. Show content. You can show the excerpt or you can show the content. The limit will be 20. If you want to change the limit, you can change the limit also. Read more. This is the read more button. And if you want to change the content, you can change the read more text content from here. This is how it will look. I do not want to show the author, so I'm going to disable it. Okay, now let's see the carousal options. How many slide items? So right now it is three column. If you want to change it to four column, it can change it to four. So I'm going to leave it to three column. This is the space between the columns. Now equal height, you want them to show equal height, so you can select equal height. 
so here you will see the equal height columns side arrow so this is the side arrow if someone wants to click on it they can click on it or you can hide them side slider dots if i enable it you will see the dots here now you can make it auto play so it will keep on playing automatically instead of someone clicks on this button it will keep on playing automatically slide loop yes slider item to scroll so it will scroll only one item per scroll let's see how does this look on the mobile so it will show only one column and people will be able to scroll here and this is how it will look on the tablet all right now let's close this one now go to style settings now if you want to change the style settings you can change the style setting this is the image size you can change from you can use one of the predefined size so i'm going to leave it as it is this one looks good to me if you want to change the height you can change the height the minimum height of the image border radius here you will see the border image overlay if you want to add image overlay you can add the image overlay color you can oh, change the opacity so this is how it will look so i'm not going to use it now content box style if you want to change the background color of the content box you can change it so this is how it will look i'm going to use this dark blue color now from here you can change the content box bottom border this is the bottom border color let me change it to green this one looks good now change the title color to white you can change the size of the title also change the content color to white categories if you show the category you can change the color of the category the meta A read more this is the read more button so i'm going to change the background color of the read more first change the text color to white and then change the background color to black so this is how it will look arrows these are the arrows change the color to green and you can also change the size of the arrow if required you can change the background color this is the arrow color all right so these are the basic styles i'm going to update it uh, let's view the page so this is how it will look you will see three different blog post sliding now let me try another layout let's try layout 5 and you need to make some adjustment here this is the layout 5 we will need to make some changes here so go to style and add some padding for the content this is the content box so let's add some padding here 20 pixel is good and read more button we will need to add some padding for the read more button also let's update it go back and refresh it now here you will see the layout 5 all right so this is how you can use the free plugin to create the post slider on the elementor website so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.